All right, guys. Hello and welcome to another episode of Picks and Predictions. So it's, it's a lovely Monday morning right now in Belgrade. We're gonna do the Champions League that's coming up tomorrow and the day after. Obviously, it's a quarterfinal. We have four games and four very interesting games. One very very big match between Manchester City and Bayern Munich, and three more: Benfica, Inter Milan, Napoli, Italian derby, and Real Madrid, Chelsea. The re- repeat of the last year's quarterfinals where we had like two pretty, pretty sick games. And we are hoping for the same outcome this week and the following one that goes. But before we continue, just want to remind you that 1xBet is an official partner of this show and this channel. If you head over there and use the platform that you see on your screen that I'm just scrolling through right now, if you register, use the code 1xCASAD or CASAD1x, you get up to 130 euro bonus. So it's a pretty cool thing. Uh, on football, they're offering a lot of different options, so it's worth at least checking it out. Anyway, Champions League. Today, uh, like I said, it's Monday, so it's the 10th of April. But we have uh, games tomorrow on the 11th. Two games that are tomorrow are Benfica against Inter and Manchester City against Bayern Munich. That's everybody. That's the game that everybody will watch, myself included. But before we head into that game, we're going to do the Benfica against Inter Milan. Now, Benfica has relatively secured the title in Portugal, even though they lost to Porto uh, just a couple of days ago. It was a pretty sick game. They lost 1-2. They scored the equalizer in the first half, but then they they, they conceded the, the another goal from, from very good Porto. I believe the, the point difference is just a little bit shorter, three points short. I think there are seven or eight points in front of everyone, but I think they're going to take this title. I think the odds suggest the same. It was like around 110 or something. But definitely Benfica is in a good spot despite that loss. Maybe it gets it gets a little bit shaken, like confidence-wise, because of the, the loss on La Luge. But they have a really good season right now. They're in the quarterfinals, they top the group with Paris Saint-Germain in it. It's just a, it's just a very good year for, for Benfica. Gonzalo Ramos is their best uh, best striker, and he's gonna be playing today. They're gonna have a full squad. Actually, tomorrow they're gonna have a full squad against Inter, who is struggling now. Inter. We saw in the weekend, even if we bet on this game, we saw it that um, they had at least 20 chances uh, against Salernitana. They should have scored six goals. They scored only one in the sixth minute of the game. And I believe like they had at least 15 shots on target at that game. And, you know, they couldn't score anything. Lukaku was just unbelievably what he was missing. The empty goal net for, from like five five meters from the goal, multiple chances, they couldn't score. And what happened? They got punished. The equalizer equalizer came around minute 90 from Kandreva, I believe, and it was just a pretty sick goal. And I think it's on, uh, it's uh, on, not on Anna, it's, uh, yeah, it's on Anna's fault. So uh, I, I do believe they're in a bit of struggling. If they lose this quarterfinal, if, uh, if they come out as losers, from this the matchup they have against Benfica, I don't manage to get into the semis. I do believe that Inzaghi is going to get cut. I do believe that Conte is going to be back. And everybody's talking right about, about that, you know, and uh, I've been, been reading some interviews and the, the Italian newspapers and like all these things that are that are happening right now. The rumors are that no matter what he does, he's going to get sacked. But the truth is they have a decent season. They're still in the cup. They are playing the semi-finals against Juventus. It was 1-1 in the first game. They're in the quarterfinals of Champions League. They're fighting for the top four spots, but it's simply not good enough with this team that Inter has. Now, coming into this game, I do believe that it's going to be under under 2.5 goals. I do believe that both teams are going to be coming into this game relatively you know, careful because it's the first leg and it offers 173 for under 2.5. If, if you want to go with something like maybe like a little bit more conservative, maybe you go for Benfica to score a goal that would offer like maybe 135, 140, but that like you put it in your ACA or something like that. And uh, you see uh, team one Asian total. So over 175 offers only 136. So 152 for Inter to score a goal. I don't think, I mean, they can definitely score. This is a value right here. If you, want, if you think Inter has like a, they can create a chance. That's a, that's not a problem. And Benfica did concede two against Porto at home. So Inter scoring here, maybe it's a valid option. Over over zero point five is one fifty two. Something that you can definitely look into. I'm gonna bet this game live because I'm gonna wait for the lineups. I want to see what Inzaghi is going to 
to put on the field in, in this game and uh, what kind of uh, formation are they going to use? Are they going to be a little more defensive or a little more aggressive? They want to like maybe score a goal here and then have an easier job in, in Champions League because let's not forget that Inter is here with a reason. They played a really tough group with Bayern Munich and Barcelona. And I think they had Victoria Pulsen there, which is like a super weak team. But nevertheless, Barcelona and Bayern Munich, they managed to get out of that group. And they beat Barcelona at home. And then the other game was like 3-3 or 3-2 or something. It was a pretty sick game. And they lost twice to Bayern Munich. But they managed to qualify. So it's a, it's a very respectable. They eliminated Porto in the previous round. So now they're going to Portugal again. Lelouch is a different story. So I do believe they have a decent chance to qualify. But Benfica is super, super difficult difficult team as you can see the team to qualify for the next stage it offers 190 on both teams 188 on both teams I, if you want to go for something like that i would i would go for for inter definitely hmm. now that's like a like a long term bet i mean a couple of weeks i guess but overall i would probably go inter to score a goal at the 155 152 and under 2.5 goals so that covers the, the very first game of, of this Champions League quarterfinals. Now match number two. This is the match that we are all waiting for. This is the final before the final this season. Two strongest teams in Europe, in my opinion, together with Napoli. So the top three teams in Europe right now, well, Arsenal too, I guess. You could put Arsenal too, but Arsenal is not playing Europe anymore. They eliminated, they got eliminated from Sporting. And which is kind of a good thing for them. They play a draw against Liverpool, which kind of puts Manchester City in a title race. But it's not a Premier League show, it's Champions League show. So we have 180, 178 on Manchester City to win the game, which is quite decent if you ask me. Over 2.5 offers uh, 165, which is also good. I think that's, that's, a, that's a very valid odd because Bayern Munich is not going to defend. They have a tremendously strong squad right now i saw the game against freiburg they won in the in the weekend it was only one zero but the squad they put out is just unbelievably unbelievably strong money is, is healthy musiala is healthy it's just they are super super good the light is, is the lift is doing a good job in the defense i'm not sure about upa meccano is if he's going to be available or not or um uh, is he going to be injured or what what the hell is happening there i think he had a, a yellow card suspension for the last game, I think he should be ready. So they should have the most, like the best lineup they can they can actually get. Thomas Tuchel is known for playing a little bit defensive football, and they, he knows the English Premier League because he was obviously a coach of of manager of Chelsea recently. So he knows how to play against Manchester City. Maybe if you want to go for something like if you trust Bayern Munich, go for a double chance X2, which offers 2.1. If somebody offers you that on Bayern Munich, you take it, right? To double your money for Bayern Munich, not to lose. So that is quite interesting. Haaland to score, maybe a different, maybe also an option. I don't know. I have to uh, examine this a little bit more, but definitely X2, uh, Bayern Munich 2.1 is something that I would look at. Over 2.5 goals is always an option. Remember the last year's... Uh, uh, elimination game against uh, Real Madrid. It was like goal fest, and it's not different than that. That now they even have a better striker than they did last year. So the goals for me are are the way to go. And if I had to recommend something right now, it would be over two point five goals because I don't think they're gonna be going into this like super careful matchup, like you know, for example, Benfica and Inter. So definitely goals here. Bayern Munich not to lose, Holland maybe to score. I there is like different options depending like which way your gut is leaning to. For me, it's like goals or Bayern Munich not to lose. So that covers the second game. That's for Tuesday. We have the games on Wednesday. Now the first game that we're gonna be doing is Milan against Napoli. Now this is like a second game of a of a trilogy that I have in the in the next you know. Well, in the past, like few days and in the next couple of weeks, because the first game they played was a week ago and Milan completely trashed Napoli on, on uh, uh, Diego Armando Maradona Stadium. They was like 4-0. They outplayed them. They dominated them. They, technically, they were stronger on midfield. They were just dominating. Obviously, uh, Ossiman didn't play there, but the rest of the team did. So it's a little bit of a worrying sign for Napoli, but they bounced back with a victory against Lecce in the... 
in the you know in the in the Serie A. We covered that in our premium section, and we got it right. Uh, Napoli to win at one seventy-eight. That was a pretty good odd. And they continue the tradition. Every time they lose a game, they win the very next one. So they are five out of five, out of five right now. So overall, this game should be very very different for uh, Napoli because Osimhen should be back. And uh, Milan rested some players. They played a great game against Napoli like ten days ago, and they played a terrible game against Empoli. I just, for me, I don't understand how teams that can score four against Napoli can score one against Empoli. So it's just, uh, just a, I don't, I don't even know what to think about it. For me, I expect a similar, similar uh, lineup like they did ten days ago. I expect a lot of fight on midfield. I do expect that Napoli would be able to score because it's not so hard to score against uh, against Milan these days. I think their defense is a little bit shaky, and with Quaraschelia and Osimhen and Lozano or Zielinski, whoever is going to be playing on the right side, uh, I think that Napoli has a decent chance to score this game. If you look for something like a little more. Uh, I guess a little more conservative. Let me see if I can find total two and two over I don't know, team two one thirty five only. But it's a good for your Aka if you want to go for something like that. I would definitely go with a long term bet that's Napoli to qualify, which offers one fifty forty five, and I would definitely go for both teams to score. I think that Milan can definitely score. We saw that in that game. I don't think they're going to be scared playing against Napoli. And Napoli will definitely score. Both teams to score offer 186. So that's a pretty decent odd. This game can end up in 1-1. I think both teams would be happy with that. And I do think it's uh, it's going to be a very interesting game to watch. I really don't know which one I'm going to watch on Wednesday because the, the very last game of, the, of these quarterfinals is going to be Real Madrid against Chelsea. Now it's playing on uh, Santiago Bernabe. It's uh, 176 for Real Madrid to win. Now Real Madrid is, is in a tremendous form right now. They did defeat Barcelona in the cup 4-0 in the 3-0, 4-0. What was it in the in that you know rematch they had? They had to one goal. Uh, handicap in, in a way because they lost in the first like 1-0 but they managed to just destroy Barcelona like completely Benzema is in a great form Vinicius in a great form Rodrigo Modric cross every many Camavinga everybody is playing like super crazy football right now for for the Real Madrid side they're not gonna make it they're not gonna you know get the title in Primera because Barcelona is too far ahead but they certainly will focus on uh, Copa del Rey and obviously Champions League. So I think they're going to take this game seriously. They can always score. Benzema to score offers a, a pretty good odd, I think, over two. And if you want to go for something like maybe Real Madrid to win this game is uh, is 175, which is a pretty decent odd. Chelsea, on the other hand, they scored only, what, 29 goals in 30 games in Premier League, which is abysmal. This is the worst record in the history of the club. 29 goals in 30 games in Premier League. With all these signings they had, like it's just unbelievably bad at this moment. They got Frank Lampard back. I feel like that's an emergency callback for him. And I do believe that's a little bit of a mistake. He has no pressure now nowadays because the season is almost over. They're fighting for some, you know, they can't get to Europe in the Premier League. They have Champions League. They're going to put everything they have right now. They do play quite enthusiastic, I believe. They just can't score. You know, they are creating some chances that just can't score. They don't have a striker. Kai Havertz is playing number nine and it's just not working well. He's like missing a lot of chances and it's a, it's a very, very, uh, very, very difficult situation. If you want to go for like a double bet, it's like they kind of tend to get away from, but like one X and uh, under three point, under 2.5 goals is something that will offer you probably around one seven, one eight. But Real Madrid to win seems tempting to me. I just, you know, I just think they are just much stronger team at this moment, and I do think they're going to win this one, simply because, you know, they're how the way they're playing right now and uh, the way the forms are. I don't know. The only thing that I'm scared of is like Chelsea. What at one of these games they're going to score three goals? I'm just worried that it's going to be against Real Madrid. It doesn't look like that, but I'm just, you know, sometimes football is just funny, right? And then the things can go go just sideways, you know, or for the team, like at the moment that you don't really expect them to. So overall, I do believe that uh, 
Real Madrid to win is is a pretty decent odds, you know, right now. So there's like the four suggestions that you guys kind of have. Obviously, you know, listen to yourself and like do your own research, but definitely something that I I've been uh, looking into for the past few days, and it's going to be super interesting. For those who don't know, we did open up. Um, a premium section on justatip.gg. You can we have a very high success rate there. You should just go and check it out and make sure if you like this content, you have your picks of your own. Just make sure you actually like and you know subscribe and comment. Be happy to answer any questions and engage with you and interact in the on YouTube. Just make sure you hit that like and subscribe. So that covers the Champions League video today. We're gonna do the later on. We're going to have the Europa League video coming out as well. Some interesting games there. But I hope you guys enjoy this one. Let's make some money. See you later.